years. There's a routine. You wake up, we get dressed, drop children in school, come here, work, close, go home. Our body clocks are used to it. So what is going to happen when you now stop? The first day, you don't have to wake up and come to Alausa. How would it feel like? If your alarm wakes you up, you know it's possible that you go and start having your bath and getting dressed because you've forgotten. So that is also one part that people don't think about, the emotional side. Because this can present more of an obstacle to a smooth retirement, even more than your finances. Because you know, retired people, they go from a state of feeling invisible. You know, you wake up with purpose every day, like I said, you have a reliable income, and then you now come into this state of vulnerability, right? Where you now have time and freedom to do and spend, but you are not really ready for it. You know when you are a guy in an office, that is, for some of us, that is our purpose. Who are you? I am the so so and so and so and so in Lagos in government. But is that really your purpose? So most people assume they want to retire as soon as they can, but they have not looked at what it means to their day-to-day -day life. So God forbid that retirees can go through different phases of emotion after they stop working. Yes, you might initially have that sense of freedom, but ah, okay. Oh, I don't have to do this anymore. You know there's that sense of relief. But that can easily be followed by some feeling of regret, boredom, anxiety, and God forbid depression. And you have to be very mindful of that. Because no matter how much money you have put away, you put away if you are still bothered by these things, the money means nothing. Isn't that so? Yeah. So I would say that in retirement you go from a who is who to a who are you. You know when you get to the gates of your department or whatever, when they say yes, ah, I'm Mrs. Susan, so I work in the governor's office. You know the gate will fly open. Happy? But when you are not there anymore, what? when you get to that gate, how will you announce yourself? Yourself, but you are not in the governor's office again. You know there's Wahala. So you know there's Wahala. So it's not like I'm a guy, you're a guy, there's no guy again. You have to calm down. <coughs> so it's important to have your purpose in retirement life. So don't simply retire from something. Because I'm sure in another one year, if somebody sees you, ah, ah, where are you? Oh, I recently retired from Lagos State. No, that should not be the conversation. The conversation should be, this, I've just retired to this, this, this. Abby? No, don't say that I, I recently retired, meaning that you are jobless now. You are nobody now. Tell us, what are you retiring to? That is a more meaningful conversation that, than what I retired from. Okay? So how do you prepare? Because comfort and security in retirement, it doesn't just happen. It takes planning and it takes commitment. One of the things you have to do first is picture yourself in retirement. What sort of retirement do you want? Because you have to want it. You have to own it. Is it to just be waking up every day to nodding wood, remote control in hand? No. You must have something that this is who I want to be when I retire. And then, looking at your resources, one thing you need to ask yourself is, what will be coming to me in retirement? Is it enough to sustain my standard of living? Do I want to drop my standard of living? Do I want to maintain the same standard? But experts tell us that for us to maintain this same standard of living that we are living now, Abby, 
what should be coming into our account every month should be at least 70 percent of the salary and last salary in Lagos State. So can that happen? Do we think that can happen? From our pension, Jopati Bosha, Mo Berenio, because if it's not possible, you have to immediately be thinking of what you can do to add to it. And it must come from you. Okay? Remember that the older you get, the more likely medical expenses will be higher. You know, now, maybe the Lagos State was paying for our medical expenses. Hmm? Now that we're retiring, we're also retiring into a time where you need to see the ophthalmologist, your eye, your ear, your teeth. Your, so, I mean, I always say that when you wake up in the morning, there's always one problem. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes. There's always something wrong. From the age of 50, you start noticing that. Which also means that it is from this same retirement funds you have that you have to be sorting out those problems. So have that at back of your mind that your medical care is going to be higher. Do you have any debts? Because if you borrowed money to do anything, it is not proper and it doesn't all go well for you to be using your already depreciated pension funds to service any loan. You know your father what has it down. So if there's anything you can do to pay up any debt you have now, or at least have it at the back of your mind, that you have to very quickly pay it down. Because when you start receiving pension, it's not out of there that you'll be paying mortgage or you bought new car, you're paying car loan. No, it shouldn't be like that. Okay? So if you have any mortgage, if you still have the time, then start a discussion with them and consider how you can quickly pick it up, if you can. All this we're saying is, if you can. So by she she, she she no ni adi, And then, calculate your likely retirement income. And you are the only one that can do it yourself. Estimate the predictable source of income that you have. For example, of course, from a retirement savings account and all your PFP or guys are outside, you know how much will be coming to you every month. Eh? Other than that, what else? Do you have investments? That maybe you say they should pay you interest on your investments every month. Um, do you want, are you going to start trading? Are you going to start any business? Out of which you should pay yourself in salary. So that is also constitute part of your income every month. But we all need to sit down and do that calculation by ourselves. Okay? Another thing is that if you are investing, and I assume that you are not doing it by yourself because there are experts when it comes to investment, right? How much, it's not about how much you are saving. It is how you are saving. Because you know, two of us can have the same type of portfolio. By portfolio, I mean the size of money that we're investing. Eh? Maybe I have one million. Madam here has one million. It depends on who is investing the money for us, one. It depends on what type of investment they are investing. Because one year down the line, Maybe her one million can be doing better than mine. You know that's possible. So those are the things you also need to consider. So when people come to you and say, ah, there's one FX trading you can involve yourself in, don't answer them. Don't invest in anything that you yourself don't understand. You are not an expert, but let it make common sense to you. You can't tell me that you want to invest my money and then um, inflation has, is at what rate now? Almost 20%. Then you say that, oh, I can be getting 50%. How? 
where I ask them where do you want to invest my money. Don't take your money, your pension money, and give to anybody that is making you any funny promise. Please don't do that. Another thing you should plan because this affects your finances in retirement. Where are you going to live? For many of us, you know, as African concern, now we want to build that big house. You know, in our neighborhood, in our co-ordo, we are the we are the biggest madam in the neighborhood. Abby, madam here is laughing. She knows what I'm talking about. So you build that big house because you say, ah, you know, the suffer that I suffered when I was young. I don't want my children to suffer the same thing. So I want them to live a comfortable life. So you build five bedroom mansion, Abby. Okay. Where are the children now? Have they not left you? Why are you still in five bedroom mansion? Okay, you are earning salary, you are able to maintain garden, pay houseboy, pay this man, pay this, but when you retire, you don't need that anymore. So begin to plan now to move into a smaller, more financially manageable accommodation. After all, most likely just you and your, your spouse. The children have left home. So just for both of you, that's all you need. When the children visit, no problem. But it's not that, oh, you are keeping the five bedroom mansion, so that when they visit to their husbands and children, they will have, your house is not Hotel California. What did I say? Your house is not what? Hotel California. Yes. Because you can't be using pension money to maintain that kind of big house. You don't need it. So arrange to move and buy. Sell your big mansion. Do your permutation properly and arrive at the best suitable option for you and your family. So that you are not spending too much you know, maintaining a big house that you don't need. Okay? You know, planning for life stages, you know, life comes in different stages. There's stage one where we're talking about building a financial foundation. There's a stage two. During this is your prime earning years. So that's when you're hustling, you're making a lot of money. But where we are now is stage three. Where you are nearing retirement or is actually during retirement. So this is the time where you need to start winding down. And to do this, you must ensure that you, you know, because this is the time that you should be giving back to society. Abby, in your church, they should know you. In your mosque, they should know you. You should be available for community service. This is the time. So it's not the time that you should be worried about money. It's the time to start winding down, okay? But there are some financial mistakes that some of us make in retirement and I just wanted to share a few with you. The fact that we didn't even have a budget. If I say, do you have to prepare a budget, your yearly budget for when you retire? Some of us have, right? And for some of us, it's a very unrealistic budget. Because by now, we should have an idea what we should be getting every month, have it? And so, what and what and what can you afford now, right? So some of us lack realistic financial budget. Some, we don't have respect for risk and return. Because we don't understand that there are some things you can't do now. Even when you are talking to the person investing your money, there are some risks you can't take now because you don't have the time to recover. Why? Because of uh, age. And because I'm adding myself to you, meet you, I'm the same, we are in the same boat. There are some things we cannot afford to do now, some risks we cannot afford to take. And we must never ignore the effects of inflation. You know, you know do we know that inflation is now worldwide? Do we know it's particularly bad in Nigeria? How much was the bag of rice six months ago? 38,000 naira. How much is a bag of rice now? How much do you think it will be by Christmas? So that is what gives you an indication 
of how bad inflation is. So nobody should make you any promise that they can turn your money around. So their money doublers, they are fraudsters. So be very mindful. And failing to prepare for the inevitable. Because you know whether we like it or not, hmm, that day will come. And many of us pray that when that day comes, that we just lie down, we close our eyes, and that's it. Happy? That is the prayer. Because when you talk about death, people say, I know my portion. How can death not be your portion? Is anybody supposed to live forever? Oh. Death is our portion, all of us. But we are trusting God that it will come at a time when we have done all we are supposed to do. So when we ask people that, do you have a will? Ah, do you want to kill me? No. You must start putting, putting your house in order from this age, okay? So we talk about budgets the other time. Take a look at what I have here. And this will help you in preparing your budget. List all, I mean, I just listed every possible income source that may be available to us when we retire. Write everything down. You can do it for a month. You can do it for a year. Whichever looks you know, more realistic for you. But you need to do that exercise to know how your finances stack up against what you are, you know, going to see coming in the coming years. So do that exercise and now list all your expenses. So when you now list your expenses, uh, some people say, ah, uh, my sister's son is still staying with me. I have to pay university fees. Can you? or retirement income. So think about it to extend family expenses. But it's very important to invest in yourself. But when you invest in yourself, you keep learning. And that is how you overcome other challenges that come to you, like you want to start a business and all that. You need to be well informed. And then embrace the digital. We are in a digital world now. When we retire now, one of the conveniences that Lisa has for us is things like banking, buying, selling. You can do meetings. You can do Zoom meetings to see your children abroad. The ones that are up north, wherever. But don't say that, ah, I don't understand those things, bro. I don't understand. You must understand. Because whether you like it or not, that's where the world is going. So embrace the digital. Embrace social media because you are going to do any buy and sell, you need social media. And then for your pension, you have to monitor. You know, don't assume that oh, everyone is doing their job, you know what they do. Yes, they do. But maybe you can be having a better deal. I want you to take a, if you have a phone, bring it out. Take a screenshot of this. Because when you live here, you need to log into this, log on to this website, right? To be able to, so they can be sending you reports to help you monitor your pension. It's called moneycounselors.com. Are we taking it? Or you are taking it to? So you, when you log in, you see this form there. Fill the form, right? And then going forward, you'll be getting report that would help you to they will analyze your money for you so that you will have an understanding of what they are doing with your money with your, your PFP. Are we? Uh-uh. You see why I said this is very digital. I think I've got to learn some is hard. So anyway, for those who have taken you to share your money because you don't have much time. It's important to nurture good family relationships. Why? Because you know, for your pension account now, I'm sure you feel like things like next of kin and all that. You must understand the role your family plays, even your finances. As you are retiring, you should sit with your family. Let them know that this is what you are coming into. So that they can manage the expectations of financial, you know, drawn out from you. This is not the time to take on extended family again, you know. This is the time to remove the ones that you have. So question. 
Do you have access to your relevant records? All the bank accounts that you never opened, this is time to consolidate, right? All the plots of land you have been buying, they told you about one in Iba, they told you about one in Akumojo, they told you about one in Eneki, in Aja. This is the time to you know, consolidate all of them. If you have to sell some, sell some. And I'll tell you why, because the children we have now, eh? What for precisely happens to us? That land will waste too. Because maybe for some of us, our dad is in the house. 
maybe we went into wife number two and three, and they are still in that space of giving birth. Maybe you see the attending parents child association. Are those students old enough to understand your assets? And where are your important documents kept? It's not when, God forbid, the unexpected happens that people will now be running over trying to find you know, documents to tell them what and what you have. It shouldn't be so. And it's part of retirement making documents. Your wife or your husband, are they part of your retirement making process? They should be. So, please look at this. If something happens to you today, and we don't, we are not praying for that, would anyone other than yourself know your password? And I think it's immense that I should talk it to you, and I'm looking at some of you in the face. Does your madam know all your password? <laughs> Do they know your bank information? But other than you, does any some other person? In fairness, it doesn't have to be your spouse. It could be your oldest child, or that child that you feel is more responsible than the rest, right? Somebody else should have your bank information. What about your will? That's a problem. Do you have a will, male or female? We should all have will. If we don't, when we leave here today, please go and engage a lawyer. Write a will. It's not about oh, how many houses do I have and how many things. No, you have something. And whatever that something is, please write a will. What you are trying to avoid is the day God calls you home, don't leave patrimonial for the rest of your family. You know, the people that are not left behind, they will not be going about confused. That house that you bought in Tesla, nobody knows about it. Only you knew. Please don't do that, okay? If you have a safe, does somebody else have the combination of the safe? And we are talking reality now, okay? So, all those documents you can kind of see or pull, and uh, one receipt, can you go? Can you sort through at them? and let somebody else have access to them, okay? So if you want to go into business, the good idea, I would ask that you do. For your health, because as they say, health is what? Health is what? It's even a person where they are alive, now they enjoy money, happy. So make sure you look after your health. But one of my brothers is here to talk to you about that. So when that time comes, you will know more, okay? This is also the time to start giving back. And when you are giving back, it's not just your children. Yes, you want to make life comfortable for your children, but don't overpamper them. Don't make it such that they don't even feel they need to work hard again. In your community, bless people. Why? God brought you this far for a reason. So make sure this is the time that you start impacting life. Invest in relationships. I want to say relationships. Make sure you have younger people in your friendship space. Why? They are the ones that know what is happening. If you only talk to your fellow old people, you will not know what is happening. <laughs> so make sure you have younger people in your space so that you keep learning. It's important to keep learning. Please don't jump on any bandwagon. You know that thing they say? They said, they said, are they right? If an offer is too good to be true, then truly it is too good to be true. Don't put your money there. Be careful of internet scam. And then don't go and buy snails on Instagram. Then you say they didn't deliver the snail, they'll chop your money. Okay? And don't shop with the reckless friends. Make sure you train your children well so that when you go, they will be able to look after you. And like I said, make sure you have a will in place. Thank you very much. Okay, just one thing I wanted to tell you, because some of you that couldn't take the picture, it is moneycounselors.com. Write it down. On how to be checking your pension, right? Moneycounselors, counselor with double L. Moneycounselors.com. Thank you.
Thank you, Madam. Please give her a big round of applause. She has really 